okay so the properties of silk hmm? read read the points reena read the largest natural fiber hmm then uh, has let uh, natural natural luster hmm strong as natural fiber hmm bad conductor of heat okay more elastic hmm damaged by alkali hmm concentrated uh, as the damaged silk hmm dyed easily dyed silk can be easily dyed and silk burns very e easily. easily these are the physical biological chemical and the thermal properties of silk okay so we finish the natural fibers the first one is cotton and then wool next silk so we finish the natural fibers and the next one is rayon rayon is the regenerated man made fiber rayon is a man made fiber okay the rayon nylon polyester all these are the man made fibers which are the rayon nylon polyester these are the common man made fibers so the rayon is the regenerated regenerated man made fiber regenerated man made fiber okay and the main component of this rayon is cellulose in cotton it's cellulose in wool it's protein just like as rayon it's cellulose the main component that present in rayon is cellulose what is the cellulose the substance that help to or it's seen in the wall of the plants to maintain the stiffness and all that is cellulose okay hmm so the main component is rayon in main component that is uh, regenerated sorry the main component is cellulose in rayon rena turn the camera why is it called as a regenerated man made fiber hmm because we made the fiber using the natural compound or the natural cellulose the raw material is natu natural we obtain the raw material from nature and then we reform the cellulose okay rayon is a man made fiber that is prepared from a natural raw material it is prepared from a natural raw material what is the natural raw material here cellulose so using the cellulose rayon is a natural rayon is a man made fiber prepared from a natural raw material rayon is a man made fiber prepared from a natural raw material called as cellulose hmm it is prepared from a natural raw material that is called as cellulose and then it's this cellulose is reformed okay the raw material is cellulose that is that is mainly obtained from nature and then the cellulose is reformed the structure is changed that is called as regenerated fiber then i need to repeat yes ma'am okay regenerated man made fiber which means there are two types of man made fiber one is regenerated man made fiber and other is synthetic man made fiber okay in regenerated man made fiber the raw material that we uh, the raw material that is uh, mainly obtained from the nature the raw material is nature from the nature okay and then we change its structure or its composition okay is it clear using the natural raw material regenerated man made fibers means it was made using natural raw materials okay natural raw materials is it clear ena and then we change the composition hmm that is regenerated man made fiber just the opposite in uh, just the opposite in nylon that is it was made without using any natural raw material okay 
that is synthetic man made fiber there are two types of man made fiber regenerated man made fiber and synthetic man made fiber in regenerated man made fiber it was made using natural raw materials okay it was made using natural raw materials in the case of rayon uh, the cellulose is the natural raw material and then this cellulose is reformed into another shape or other structure okay that is regenerated man made fiber just the opposite is synthetic man made fiber synthetic means it is made without using any natural raw material without using any natural raw material the complete process is in an artificial manner okay the complete process there is no natural raw material that is synthetic man made fiber is it clear hmm need to write need to write rena okay so uh, rayon that is made from cellulose rayon that is made from cellulose obtained from wood pulp or cotton the rayon that is made from the cellulose obtained from wood pulp or cotton rayon that is made from the cellulose obtained from wood pulp or cotton the cellulose is mainly we collected from the wood pulp or either from the cotton okay that is the natural raw material cellulose and then the cellulose is reformed into another structure or other properties okay then the cellulose is reformed and the next is synthetic man made fiber synthetic man made fiber it was made without it was made without using any natural raw materials it was made without using any natural raw materials without using any natural raw materials in rayon cellulose is the natural raw material in the case of nylon there is no natural raw materials the complete process is artificial okay is it clear now is it clear rena hmm just try that is regenerated and synthetic it's fine just try don't look the text regenerated fibers contain cellulose which is from the wood pulp or the cotton is regenerated with another fiber regenerated fiber means uh, it is made using the natural raw material okay regenerated fiber means it is made using natural raw material in the case of rayon it is cellulose okay there is a natural raw materials in rayon cellulose and then the cellulose is reformed okay the natural raw material is a basis for rayon and then it's changed it's changed into another form that is regenerated try rena Uh, regenerated is uh, made from raw natural raw material very good and then and it is reformed to another very good then what about synthetic man made fiber we have um, not don't have natural raw material without made using natural raw material okay they are made without using the natural raw material is it clear megna any doubts okay so regenerated man made fiber the example for the regenerated man made fiber is rayon regenerated r rayon is also start with r okay rayon and regenerated rayon is an example for regenerated man made fiber and nylon is an example of synthetic man made fiber nylon is an example of synthetic man made fiber nylon polyester all these are the examples of synthetic man made fiber okay hmm then what are the properties of rayon rayon is an artificial fiber or a man made fiber in the case of rayon the length can be controlled why 
because it's a man made fiber so we can control the length according to our need the length can be controlled length can be controlled desired length it is also like our needs if we need more uh, smooth or very glowing fiber we can made it or otherwise just the opposite okay desired lexture according to our need we can change the lexture of the fiber then it is weaker than silk but stronger than wool the rayon is weaker the strength according to the strength wise rayon is weaker than silk silk is the strongest fiber right silk is the very strongest natural fiber so compared with silk the rayon is weaker rayon is weaker and it's stronger than wool but compared with wool is stronger okay when compared with silk rayon is weaker and when compared with wool it is stronger and it has the greater elasticity and it has greater elasticity and it has greater elasticity it absorbs the moisture from the cotton it absorbs the moisture from the cotton it can easily absorb the moisture from the body or from the environment anywhere they can easily absorb moisture than cotton than cotton in rayon they can absorb the moisture easily than cotton and it's a good conductor of heat so it is suitable to wear in summer good conductor of heat it passes the heat from our body just conduct the heat through the cloth and alkali destroys the fiber alkali destroys the fiber when we wash or uh, when we wash the uh, rayon clothes in alkaline it dissolves the fiber or it damage the fiber then it absorb the dye easily in cotton in cotton how is it in uh, how is it in in cotton not dye easily not dye easily in the case of rayon they absorb the dye easily so we can easily color or provide the color to the cloth then it burns quickly just like as cotton it burns quickly rena is it clear just by heart the points okay burns quickly is a very important question there is no other shortcuts to learn just by heart the properties of silk cotton and all and the so rayon is a man made fiber which man made fiber rena rayon is a which kind of man made fiber regenerated regenerated man made fiber very good and the nylon and polyester both are the synthetic fibers the properties for the nylon and the property for the polyester both are same because they are the synthetic man made fiber there is no natural raw material the completely it's obtained from a artificial process the both nylon and polyester okay that's why the nylon is called as the nylon that's why the nylon is called as the magic fiber magic fiber nylon is called as the magic fiber because it was made without using the natural raw materials there is no natural raw material in rayon that's why it's called as a magic fiber magic fiber and uh, the polyester is also called as terrilin t e r y l e n e l e n e terrilin okay the polyester is also called as terrilin or the other name for polyester terrilin t e r y l e n e okay so nylon is a magic fiber nylon is a magic fiber and the other name for polyester is terrilin okay terrilin and what are the properties of nylon and polyester both are prepared using without the natural raw material okay so what are the properties the length can be controlled just like as the rayon 
because it's a man made fiber length can be controlled the lecture can be controlled and it is strongest it has the elasticity power it has the resiliency what is the resiliency reena resiliency elasticity means the ability to come back to the original original length okay resiliency means if we compress the cloth or we compress it comes back okay or it's bounces back that is resiliency and it's a bad conductor of heat so it's very suitable to wear in cold climates bad conductor of heat then it's easy to dye rayon is also easy to dye not damaged by mildew which means mildew is a fungus that mainly grows in the cloth okay not damaged by mildew because it's a man made fiber and there is no effect on alkali and no effect on acid both acid and alkali has no effect acids and alkali there is no effect rena Mm. Read the properties of rayon. Read, just read from your note. The uh, length can be controlled. Desired luster. It's weaker than silk but stronger than wool. Greater mm. elast elastic than cotton. um uh, absorb moisture than cotton good conductor of heat and Al alkali destroys fiber absorbs dye easily burn quickly okay then so we finish the natural fibers and man made fibers okay which are the natural fibers megna cotton wool and silk good then vena what are the man made fibers Iron, nylon, polyester. Okay, then one more is there according to the origin. Man-made fibers, natural fibers, and hmm, natural fiber. Blended fiber. What does it mean? A blended fiber. Hmm. Mixed with natural fibers. Ah, oh, mix with any fibers. Okay, one fiber is mixed with another fiber that is called as blended fiber, as the name says. Okay, what is another name of polyester? Reena, other name for polyester? Sorry, ah uh, yes, other name for polyester. Then, hmm. Look at the text. Other name for polyester. T E, silent. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in polyester, if we blend the polyester plus cotton, polyester plus cotton. So, in this case. both property the property of the polyester and the properties of the cotton is combined and form a new one that is terry cot terry cot okay polyester plus cotton so we get a new product that is terry cot so for this terry cot uh, it has both the properties of polyester and cotton okay blended fibers are mainly blend with other fibers with polyester fiber okay mainly or usually the blended fibers means the fibers that we blend with polyester so in this case we blend the cotton with polyester it gives a new one or a new fiber that is terry cot okay terry cot hmm and then we mix the polyester and silk so we get terry silk okay polyester plus silk terry silk 
So polyester plus cotton, a sterile cord. The other name for the polyester is sterling. So the polyester plus cotton is sterile cord. Polyester plus silk is sterile silk, and polyester plus wool. What is it, Reena or Meghna? Polyester plus wool is sterile wool. Sterile wool. Is it clear? These are the blended fibers. Hmm. Is it clear? Okay. So, uh, take a big sheet and draw a table. We are going to compare all the properties of the fibers. A big sheet, okay? Like a four sheet. No. Draw a table. With six rows and nine columns, six rows and nine columns. Make it fast, okay? If you learn like this, it will be more clear and you don't get confused. Make it fast. So the first fiber or the cotton, silk and wool, all these are the natural fibers. The cotton is called as the king of fibers. Cotton is called as the king of fibers. Silk is called as the queen of fiber. Cotton is called as the king of fiber, and silk is called as the queen of fibers. Rayon is called as the artificial silk. Rayon is called as artificial silk. The screen is clear, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So cotton is called as a king of fiber, silk is called as a queen of fibers, rayon is a artificial silk, and nylon is magic fiber. Nylon is magic fiber. Nylon is magic fiber. Okay. So first we are going to compare the length. The length. The cotton is very small, the smallest fiber. Cotton is the smallest fiber. Cotton is the smallest fiber. Silk is the largest fiber. Then both rayon and nylon can be controlled, can be controlled. It can be controlled. Okay. Then, lecture. Lecture. In cotton, no natural lecture. Make it fast. No natural lecture in cotton. Silk has natural lecture. Silk has natural lecture. Wool varied lester, wool varied lester, rayon desired lester, nylon desired lester. No natural lester in cotton, natural has the natural lester in silk, varied lester in wool, desired lester in rayon and nylon. Okay, Meghna? Then uh, elasticity. In cotton, no elasticity. Cotton, no elasticity. In silk, little more elastic than cotton. Silk, 
silk is little more elastic than cotton silk is little more elastic than cotton wool has maximum elasticity wool has maximum elasticity then rayon more elasticity than cotton rayon more elasticity than cotton rain am i fast okay so uh, in rayon more elasticity than cotton nylon have elasticity nylon have elasticity nylon have elasticity so in cotton there is no elasticity in silk little more elastic than cotton wool has maximum elasticity rayon more elastic than cotton and nylon have elasticity okay then heat conductivity the next property is heat conductivity heat conductivity cotton is a good conductor good conductor of heat cotton is good conductor silk is a bad conductor silk bad conductor wool is a bad conductor cotton is good conductor silk is bad conductor wool is bad conductor wool is bad conductor rayon is good conductor rayon is good conductor nylon is bad conductor nylon is bad conductor is this easy to learn or difficult easy learn this table okay don't learn by one by one and all just compare so we finish the heat conductivity right next is effect of alkali effect of alkali make it fast effect of alkali in cotton no effect of alkali no effect of alkali in cotton no effect of alkali silk damaged by alkali silk damaged by alkali wool is also damaged by alkali wool damaged by alkali in rayon it destroys the fiber rayon destroy the fiber in rayon the alkali destroys the fiber and nylon no harmful effect are you able to write not fast right okay next is uh, i will repeat the alkali once again okay in cotton there is no effect of alkali in silk damaged by alkali wool it's damaged by alkali in rayon uh, it destroys the fiber the alkali destroys the fiber or destroys the rayon and nylon no harmful effect with alkali okay rena then the effect of acids effect of acids effect of acids in cotton damaged damaged just write that damaged silk concentrated acids damaged it's damaged the silk is damaged in concentrated acids so concentrated acids damaged then uh, in wool it dissolves the fiber acid dissolves the fiber in wool dissolves the fiber or damage the fiber both are fine okay wool dissolves the fiber rayon damaged by acid rayon damaged by acid rayon damaged by acid nylon no effect nylon no effect 
Read the points, Reena. Effect of acid. Uh, in as uh, in cotton, it is damaged. Good. In silk, considered as acid, a uh, damage. Hmm. In wool, dissolves the fiber. Good. In uh, rayon, it is damaged by acid. Nylon, no effect. Okay. Then effect of dye. It's another property, other chemical property. That is effect of dye. Not easily dyed. In cotton, not easily dyed. Not easily dyed in cotton. Silk are easily dyed. Silk are easily dyed. Then wool, rayon, and nylon. All those are easy to dye. Hmm? Silk, wool, rayon, nylon. All these are easy to dye. Only the cotton is not easy to dye. Cotton is not easy to dye and all other fibers are easy to dye. That's it.